I am I the Rastafari. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Ubuntu Productions. My name is Aaron Blanco Tejedor, and in this channel, we make web development tutorials with a focus on simplicity. <laughs> So today we have a Bricks Builder tutorial that is going to go straight into the Bricks Basics playlist in our channel. And we are going to learn something very useful if you work normally with different languages in the same web page. And it's how to hide something or show something conditionally depending the language that the person or has chosen in, in your web page. This is helpful for many reasons, being, for example, one of them. Imagine that the second language is not as important and you can reduce some amount of content that you don't want to show in that second language. For example, in, in my some of my clients' web pages, we have this uh, present card uh, system installed called GiftUp. So uh, the short code that you get for the selling of the gift, gift card, I have to show it in different languages, depending different language in my web page. So I need to put three short codes, one for each language. So in that way, it's helpful to be able to conditionally not load something depending on the language. And that's what we are going to learn today in a very simple and straightforward for and a straight forward for and a straight forward. So it's as simple as that. You will add a condition, you will ask for dynamic data, you will write echo get local, you will find that in the description, you will put two equal symbols, and then the code of the language that you want that to so you want the condition to match and because of the condition is match you want to show it in the web page so let's build it then uh, we have a page here and a, a language switcher that demonstrate that there are two languages installed in this web page we are using the plugin translate press for this example but this a conditional hiding a code is going to work regardless the translation plugin because uh, it seems that this uh, snippet that I'm going to share it's where a language is storage in WordPress or something similar but I mean that even if you don't use translate press give it a try because I'm very sure it could work for you too so we have these two languages, Spanish and English. And let's imagine that this first uh, hero section, we want to hide it in one of the languages. How to do that? We are in the page and we will go to the element we want to hide. It can be, for example, a complete section or it can be only the heading or the subheading, for example. But in this case, to make it more evident, we will hide the whole section. And to do that, we are going to go to conditions and we are just going to add a condition. And in the conditions, we are going to add dynamic data. So the, the first field is dynamic data. So now it's time to like ask like what dynamic data you want. And this is the thing that you need to put there is like give me the locale and compare it with two equals to something and in this case something is the code of your language so if i go to translate play plus translate plus translate to chinese english spanish swedish finnish and all the languages existable so i have the code here so imagine that I want to show it in English. Why I'm taking the English and not the Spanish? Bear with me. We are going to paste it here. And that's saying the condition, if the condition is matched, you are going to show it. 
So if the condition that the locale is English, you are going to show it. So if we save this and we refresh this page, we are in the Spanish version and it's gone. And if we change from Spanish to English, here we have it again. So it's as simple as that. You will add a condition, you will ask for dynamic data, you will write echo get local, you will find that in the description, you will put two equal symbols, and then the code of the language that you want that to show, you want the condition to match, and because of the condition is match, you want to show it in the web page. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode very much and I hope it's helpful for you. As I always say, ending my episodes, love to you, love to everyone. I hope you have a beautiful day and remember that only by helping each other and by loving each other, we can create a better humanity in this world. Have a beautiful day.